Hey, Miss Waters class. My name is David Williams. Uh, I'm a lieutenant in the United States Navy. Call sign Nitro. Uh, I'm also Kira's big brother. Uh, and she asked me to make a video for you guys explaining why fighter pilots need to use oxygen masks when we fly our aircraft. Uh, there's, there's a couple reasons for it, but we first have to start with um, understanding density and how it applies to uh, the air that we breathe. Uh, down here, uh, close to sea level, um, the oxygen that we breathe is, is about the most dense that it can possibly be. But as you go up uh, in elevation into the atmosphere, uh, the, um, the density is a lot less. And that is because as we get closer to the, to the sea level, uh, the, there's more oxygen that is holding down, or that is uh, being weighed down by, um, by the oxygen above it. So uh, if you could imagine a feather, if you hold one in your hand, it's, it's quite light. Uh, but if you have, uh, say, 20 miles worth of feathers piled on top of you, you would, it would actually be quite heavy. So uh, the oxygen that's down near, the, um, down near sea level uh, is being pushed down a lot more than uh, the oxygen is up further up in the atmosphere. And because it's being pushed down a lot more, kind of like if you push down feathers, they uh, become more compact and they take up less space, less volume, uh, even though they still have the same mass. Well, oxygen works the same way. And so when you're down near sea level, um, every time you take in a breath, even though you're taking in the same volume of oxygen, uh, of air, uh, you're actually getting more uh, oxygen concentration in that breath. As you go further up in the atmosphere, the concentration in each breath, the, the mass of oxygen uh, per volume is a lot less. So we tend to fly uh, usually between 20 and 30,000 feet in the air. Uh, I don't know if you've ever climbed a mountain, but if you get up to seven or 8,000 feet, uh, you'll notice that the, uh, your ability to your body's ability to process oxygen is a lot uh, less and it takes a lot harder breathing and a lot longer to recover if you're trying to run around or something like that. Well, 20,000 feet, uh, if we were to try to breathe the ambient oxygen out there, we would actually pass out relatively quickly. So the reason that we wear oxygen masks, and you might not have to uh, when you're flying in a, uh, in a commercial airplane, uh, is because commercial airplanes are um, uh, first of all, <laughs> commercial airplanes don't have to uh, uh, worry about the stresses that we put on our airplanes. Uh, so um, they don't have to worry about pulling 7.5 Gs and, uh, and having systems that can withstand that. Uh, they also have multiple layers of, uh, of protection and redundancy so that if one of their compressors fails, uh, they still have uh, other compressors that they can use um, to, to compress that oxygen to something that you can, you can breathe. Um, However, if we have an issue, we only have one uh, compressor, and if, uh, if it goes out, um, like I said, and we went to 20,000 uh, foot cabin pressure, uh, we would probably pass out pretty quick, which is not good because then we simply fly the airplane. Uh, also, if we have to eject at any time, uh, we would again be subjected to that same 20,000 uh, foot air, uh, and would probably pass out, and uh, it would not, not be a comfortable ride coming down. Um, so that's pretty much uh, why we wear the oxygen mask, uh, just you know, to make sure <laughs> that we don't pass out if, uh, if something happens inside our aircraft. Um, just want to show you real quick, uh, this is the oxygen mask that I use, that I fly with every day. Um, it's uh, pretty simple, there's a, a hose that comes into the, uh, to the mouth pretty much, uh, and then there's a relief valve on this side. So I'll breathe in through the hose and then uh, this little valve opens up when I want to breathe out. And then I also have a microphone on the inside so that people can, uh, can hear me when I speak. And then it attaches to my helmet that I wear. And then uh, I also have uh, headphones inside the, uh, the helmet uh, so that I can hear when people are talking to me. And uh, pretty much from, uh, from takeoff to landing, uh, that's what I fly with. So uh, you guys want to know why we have to wear oxygen masks and that's uh, pretty much it. If you have any more questions about flying or aviation or anything that's related to that, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Appreciate it. Thanks.